Oh, well, here we are for night number one at Alpine Valley. They only snuck in one new song on us tonight, and we got off to a 46-day start in Moment Dance. You know, very familiar. Neither song really had much of a cheer or roar from the crowd, that's for sure. In fact, 46 days, it was like, oh. But by the end of the song, people were fired up. It looked like a big party. And then they would just repeat the cycle with Moma Dance. It was like, you are kidding me again with Moma Dance in this spot. But then by the end of the song, there was, it looked like a big dance party going on down there. So then they sneak in the well on us, you know. And then the 46 days, it always comes through in the first set, Moma Dance. It did seem to be a little bit extra tonight for the first one of the summer. And then, like I said, they sneak in the well on us here. In fact, I think I've said that like three times already. That'll be the last. And then my friend, you know, occasionally it will get a little bit of a jam here in recent history. And uh, this was probably by far the best. I feel anyhow, you know, I haven't listened to those other ones recently, but from what I remember, it was like, oh, cool. They jammed out my friend a little bit. That was a little more than uh, just jammed out a little bit. And it was kind of all of them, you know. It wasn't like early on, you know, they each had their moments, really. It was like early on in the jam, Fishman was really going off. And then, you know, Paige had his moments. Trey and Paige had moments. Mike just kind of laying low the whole time, but doing his thing. And then like, Trey busts out a capo for Brian and Robert. I thought we were about to get some bluegrass. But instead, it's Brian and Robert. And then they follow that up with a fiery, uh, a big fired-up llama. They go from about as slow as you can get to about as fast as they can get these days. And then we got a big cheer for Cities. Um, if, you know, if these songs up here did not get a roar, Cities certainly did. Certainly. And then uh, we got the Yamar here late in the set. A stat. And this is where Trey, late in the Yamar, Trey started to really go. And then it just seemed like he didn't want that song to end. You know, maybe three minutes before it ended, it seemed like it was going to. But Trey was really having fun there. Gets into Stash, and this one was pretty much all Trey. It was just pretty much a straightforward Stash. Didn't get too crazy just because Trey was just going to town on the guitar. And then we get a Cavern set closer. The Stash, while, um, yeah, you know, it's been a while. Normally the Stash just gets so crazy. There is nobody that really takes the lead, it seems. But in this one, it was all Trey, kind of how the Yamar ended. Cavern, not a lot going on there. Although I did call it Cavern Set Closer. Finally got something right. Axilla 2 over here, sparing us a uh, backwards down the number line. Almost an Axilla 3, really. Alternate lyrics once again. This one, happy birthday to CK, I believe it was. And then down with the tray was uh, requesting that the thing be shined in his face this time. And then in the down with disease. While again, maybe like these over here. Didn't exactly get a gigantic roar, but then by the end of it, it was uh, a pretty damn good down with disease. Maybe not the best one we'll get this summer, though, I suspect. And then over to Mercury. Mercury's been kind of missing. I, I enjoy a Mercury, but then this one just felt, mm, you know, it was, it was a bit tame, I suppose. And the taste, coming off the spear, I was hoping for something big. It was just a very good taste. And then we got into Ghost. Now, it's not often that kind of like, you know, I'd say my friend, down with disease, these were our big ones. Then usually that third jam of the night kind of lacks a little. Not the case with Ghost tonight. It was the one, maybe similar to Fuego the other night, where this wasn't just like all Trey all the time while he had his moments again with Paige. Uh, John Fishman, of course. Drummer boy, John Fishman. And then we get over to Limb by Limb. This is, limb by Limb and Taste just feel like such naturals. Ghost kind of stealing the show there from those two. Horse silent in the morning. Good times, bad times is how they end the set. So really, you know, the ghost was the big end. Limb by limb could have been. The show starts to really drag on at this point. Contact, antelope. You know, I'm always down for an antelope. I like contact. Horse sail in the morning, I could live without. And good times, bad times, we've been there many times before. So for night one, you got three pretty big ones. The ghost and my friend, I think, will be very re-listenable. And then the down with disease, while it had its moments, not great. If I can recap the recap here on night one. All right, the capo. This trade, is that, a, is that a move he does often? I'm telling Marvin, too. I don't know how many of you guys know Marvin, but they're very anti-capo. Capos are for kids. What Trey's doing. I know my hero, Billy Strings, uses a capo. He's a kid. <laughs> All right. Well, Brian and Robert, huh? Who saw that coming? Brian and Robert couple of jerks. <laughs> All right, we're out of here. I got, I didn't have a whole lot to say, I suppose. <sighs> I just feel like I owed it a little more than this. I guess, I guess it's because I got started so quick. All right, boom, we're out of here. Thanks for watching.